Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 4. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you are well. Today is a very good day. We are checking out the brand new Toyota Supra added in to Forza Horizon 4 through the festival playlist. If you are new around here, definitely consider subscribing. We've got a bunch of customization to go and check out. We'll do two builds, one race and one drift. And we'll see what this thing can do. So let's go ahead and check out the brand new Toyota Supra to Forza Horizon 4. As I say, the brand new Toyota Supra added into Forza Horizon 4 can be unlocked through completing the Overnight Parts Seasonal Championship in this week's Festival Playlist. Here it is then, the 1992 Toyota Supra 2-litre GT Twin Turbo. I haven't even driven it yet, it still says new on the little tab. You guys, in the comments of some of my other videos, tell me this thing sounds amazing. So we'll jump in it and see what we can do. Taking a look at this thing in Forza Vista, you can tell it's from the 1990s. It's very boxy and very square, but it still looks pretty good. That front end's quite sleek, but one of the best parts about this car... Pop-up headlights. Yeah, boy, they look so cool. It's a shame these things are illegal in most countries, or all countries, I'm not really sure, but... Look at it. It's just a very cool feature. The Mazda's run this as well, and I just love it. But if we hit the explode button... Look at that twin turbo setup running. I think it's about 200 horsepower. It's not very much horsepower at all. I don't know how they got so little from two turbos. Normally in these videos, I take these cars out when they're stock and see what they can do completely stock. But with just over 200 horsepower running 206, it's not the most exciting car. And I don't think you guys really want to see that. So I think we'll jump back into the uh, into the festival playlist. And grab ourselves some upgrades. We're only just hitting 90 miles an hour in fourth gear. It really isn't that exciting, completely stock. But still, it is a Toyota Supra. There's another Toyota in Horizon 4, so let's all be grateful for that. Let's we'll see what we can get through this camera. Ah, oh, 89.89. I couldn't do that again if I tried. Just under 90 miles an hour. Yeah, let's hop back to the festival players and whack on some upgrades. Ah, the good old upgrade shop we'll hop on over to engine conversions first because we are running an asthmatic two liter twin turbo 206 horsepower engine which i don't know how they got so little horsepower from two turbos it baffles me slightly we can swap in a three liter inline six twin turbo from the 1998 toy super so that is the 2jz we can swap in a 6.2 litre V8. If you want to go racing, I would suggest using this one. This is what I use if I can get it in the performance index that I want or the class that I want. I normally use 6.2 litre V8. We've got a 2.6 litre inline six twin turbo. I'm sure that's the RB26 from the R35. You'll have to let me know in the comments. Not too sure. And then we've got the 1.6 litre inline four turbo rally. Now I happen to know this thing is rubbish for upgrading, so we are going to straight swap in the 3 litre inline 6 twin turbo. We're going to leave it rear wheel drive and we're going to leave it twin turboed for now. We're not going to swap in, I think it's a single turbo, we're not going to do that. Although, it does add 104 horsepower. How big is that thing? Okay, no, we'll leave it twin turbo for now. We're going to fit a wide body kit. Yes, this car comes with a wide body kit. And it's not the widest of kits in the world, but it is still pretty wide. Why it raises it up off the floor, I'm not too sure. It makes it look a bit like a monster truck. It really does. I mean, you can go off-roading with that thing. It slightly changes the front bumper, which is cool. Don't know why I'm staring at the front bumper while doing that, but we are. But yeah, we'll fit the wide body kit, because, well, it's a wide body kit, and why wouldn't you? I want to try and keep the race car build in Class B if I can. So we're not going to touch the tyre compound, but we are going to do the width front and rear just to give us a little bit of extra grip onto platform and handling then we've got to sort out those tiny little brakes put in the big old beefy race brakes we'll go ahead and do suspension because at the moment we're looking a bit like a monster truck so we'll go ahead and fit race springs as well so i've gone ahead and done the power upgrades we're now running a 380 horsepower class b 700 with 53,750 credits worth of upgrades so we'll check out the painting options on the good old Supra. We do have advanced, so paint group one. I think we're just gonna go for black. I never knew there was a stripe on this car. That is news to me. I never knew that was there. And then paint group two, I'm guessing, is gonna be the stripe. Uh, yep, it is. I want white. Oh, that color does nothing. That color is doing absolutely nothing. So we'll go into here and we'll make it white. 
That's looking pretty good. We'll go ahead and make the wheels black. Right, we've jumped into a bit of a race. Let's go, let's see what this brand new 92 Supra can do with its 3 litre 2JZ engine. Uh, we're still in 12th place. It feels a lot better than the standard engine, obviously. It's going to accelerate better. Ooh, the outside. Maybe we'll switch back on this guy if we can. It sounds good, it's got a lovely turbo flutter. Obviously, it's not the standard engine. Oh, look what's dead ahead. Supra versus Supra. If I could just catch him, that would be all good. But the build is feeling good. It's feeling fairly grippy. You can sort of kick the back end out when you need to, or if you want to. So it's fun all at the same time. But hopefully it will win you races as well. Just trying to cut the inside here, being blocked by the Porsche. Then nip round... The S13 or S14, I can never tell which one's which. When racing, understeer. Why are they getting understeer? It's a rear wheel drive Supra. Catch that Porsche. Why can't I catch this guy? Why am I struggling so much to catch the guy in first? What is going on? Come on, Supra. The build is good. The build feels nice. I think it could possibly do with a little bit more power. Um, but then again, saying that, I think it needs more grips. So maybe Class A would be best for this car for racing, maybe. To see if you get the better tyres on it. But other than that, it feels good and it feels solid. We're going to go for a late dive on the last corner with this guy. Here we go, late dive down the inside. He's going to cut me off. We're going to slightly bully him outside. Outside? No, come on. Go, go, go. Yes, first place. Car feels good though. The build feels nice. That tune is shared if you want it, just search my favourite tag, Skippy4631, or the file name, Skippy YouTube. Before we jump into our drift build, something I want to do very quickly is a top speed, crazy horsepower build. So we're going to go race tyres, we'll go four wheel drive, we're going to swap in the single turbo, full race weight reduction, and with every single power upgrade installed. If we take a look at the single turbo upgrades, we're currently sitting at 932 horsepower, by swapping in the Sport Turbo, we get a whopping 287 horsepower, bringing us to 1,219 horsepower. And then if we swap in the Race Turbo, 669 horsepower, 1,601 horsepower, four-wheel drive, monster. So essentially, all I've done is completely maxed out the upgrades. The only thing I haven't done is aerodynamics. Here we go then, 1,600 horsepower, four-wheel drive, let the Supra go. I'm not going to be shocked. Please move. Thank you. Look at that acceleration. Ow. I hate driving cars at times. They really do annoy me. Okay, this thing might not be the best race car in the world in Class S2, but it is hella fun to drive. Second gear. Let it rip. That's 120 miles an hour. Let it square me under third. I'm on the grass. And then this is the fun bit. Point, square, go. Look at that speed. That's 200 miles an hour. Hard on the brakes into second gear. Man, this thing is great fun. The pop-up headlights coming into play now. Like I say, it's not brilliant as a race car. Mainly because of the cornering. I reckon with some aero, we could probably sort that out. But, Class S2, boys. This is fun. Question is... Can we have fifth place? I don't think we can. I need to get this corner right. So I'm going to bridge a little bit earlier. Get it into second. Get it tucked in. Get the power on. No, it's not going to do it. Sixth place for the S2 tuned. So it's a Supra. So the two race builds out of the way, let's go ahead and check out some drift tuning. I've already fitted drift suspension and I've already converted this thing back to rear wheel drive to get the the back end out a little bit better, a little bit easier, because four-wheel drive drifting is good, is fun, but it's not really the way to do it. So we're going rear-wheel drive. All right, let's throw the Supra down the drift zone and see what it can do. We're looking for around 80 to 90,000, and it's feeling pretty good so far, pretty solid. I mean, if it's tuned by a professional, it might be a little bit better than this, or a lot better than this, to be fair. Feels good though, we're already at 80,000, so surpass what I wanted to get to. 
And actually, we're going to blast past 100,000. Okay, 116,000. That's pretty damn good. Let's keep going here. Let's go all the way down the uh, speed zone. I what it was called. Feeling pretty good, though. Feeling pretty solid. I do like drifting. It is good fun. Yeah, it's good. It feels good. If I pop it into fourth, it should push it along quite nicely. If I don't crash, that is. Yeah, with some proper tuning, this thing could be a very good contender for some high scores. There we go. Very nice indeed. So there we go, guys. The 1992 Toyota Supra. Three builds all shared for you guys to go and use if you wish. Let me know what you think of this car in Forza Horizon 4. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you're only around here, definitely consider subscribing. Stay safe, guys, and have... An awesome day.